friends, today I wanted to start a fun little creative project I've had in mind and I've been wanting to do for a while and I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you guys a little bit of me taking on something fun and creative and different. For my fun creative project, I thought I would get a bunch of canvases, about four to five, and paint individual artwork on each of them, but overall create like a fun four to five mural canvas. And I thought I would display it up in my living room, but I'm just going to take on the project, see where it goes, and see what I like and where it takes me, and we'll find out. But I thought it would be very fun to take you guys along with me and show you guys a little bit of my creative process when I do something fun and different like this. Today I am going to be running errands to get the supplies and materials I need. Take you guys along with me to see where I shop and see me picking out the things that I need and what I'm thinking and putting the pieces together for this creative project. But I will take you guys along with me through every step of the process to show you guys me taking on this fun little creative project I've had in mind. And I'm excited to show you guys the end result. For now, the first step is to run our errands and get our supplies, so let's get going. just made it to Michael's. It's my first stop on our list of errands to get supplies and materials for my creative project. I will try and take you guys inside with me and take a look at what we can find. Okay, I just finished up at Michael's. I got my canvases. I hope I got the right size, but I'll take them home, play with them, and see, and then I can always make my final decision later. But now I am at Lowe's, and I'm thinking about checking out some paint and getting some samples to use for the canvases. Just finished up at Lowe's. Got like fuzz from my mask. I just finished up at Lowe's and I think I'm gonna stop to get a smoothie on my way home, but as soon as I get home, I'll show you all the supplies that I got from Michaels and Lowe's. And so I'll see you when I get back. Okay, I am back from my errands and I thought I'd show you guys a little haul of some of the materials I got for my fun little creative project I'm doing. I went to Michael's and I went to Lowe's and I'll show you guys what I got. I do have some supplies on hand and I'll also go and grab that in a second and show you guys a little bit of what I might use that I already have. But my first stop as you saw was Michael's and at Michael's is where I picked up my canvases. I got three piece canvases and so I got six total and I got the size in 18 by 24. I was contemplating getting a larger one because I do have this in mind to hang in my living room and I do have a big wall space to take up with the wall art I want to create for this creative project. But they are very expensive and I also thought this is kind of more like a test run for me as well. This is like just something for me to do for fun and to play with. So if I don't end up using this in the living room, maybe the smaller size might be better because it'll be more versatile to use in maybe other areas in my studio or in the hallway or anywhere else if I do end up switching where I want to put these. I got the canvases at Michaels and I also got some paint brushes while I was at Michaels. I do already have paint I do already have paint brushes at home, but I just I'm always so paranoid that I'm going to need another paintbrush or a specific paintbrush and you can never have too many paintbrushes. And if I'm using multiple colors, I don't like to mix them and having multiple paintbrushes that way I can use one for each color it just gives me a peace of mind. So I did stock up on a couple more paintbrushes at Michaels. The next stop I went to was Lowe's and there's where I stocked up on some paint. I'll show you that in a second. But I also got some painter's tape, just a small one, just in case there's some certain designs. I kind of want to use some tape to make sure I keep my lines clean. I also got some, it's only a dollar, so just a stack of little stir sticks to kind of keep, make sure the paint is well mixed. 
I did get a little container to use to wash and rinse and switch out for my paint brushes. Although the paint I did get is small enough that I don't really need to pour it into a different container. This is just kind of to make sure I keep my brushes clean and I can switch them out using this container. The next thing I got at Lowe's was a drop cloth. I was thinking a tarp and then I realized that a drop cloth would probably be better. I, I do have a blue tarp, but it gets so crinkly and it moves around a lot and it's just sometimes a kind of a pain and I do like using a drop cloth better. So I thought I'd get a drop cloth to use as I also don't want to get my floors covered in paint and I'm not quite sure where I want to tackle this painting project just yet. And so I just want to make sure I can keep my floors free of paint when I do this. For the fun part, I got paint at Lowe's. What I love to do is go to Lowe's and just grab some paint chip samples and I have them here. And what I do is I grab the different paint samples and that way I can kind of curate the different colors that I want to use and how they're going to look together and that way instead of just getting a bunch of craft paints you can line them up in the container and everything but also craft paint it comes in such a small container and it can get a little pricey whereas I feel like you can kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck when you use sample uh, containers from Lowe's in the paint department. So I love grabbing the paint chips from there and also I can use the paint chips later for another craft project themselves too which I love to do. I definitely go through and I grab my paint chips and I play around with the different colors and I pick out the set of colors that I want to get and then I just order samples from them because they do offer samples in the paint department at Lowe's. So they just come in these small little containers and they're only like three four dollars and I think it is 7.75 ounces so I think that is a good amount for just a sample size to use as painting a painting project and as you can see I'll kind of show you in a second all the different colors that I picked out and so you can kind of get a little sneak peek of where I'm going with my fun little creative project but you do have to wait till the end to see the full result. I did get some samples of different colors like mint and some cream colors in the sample sizes from Lowe's but I also wanted to make sure I had a good amount of white to just kind of make sure I start as a base point and I can lighten some colors and I can also just kind of use that to mix in. You will see as I do the work what I'm talking about. But I did stock up on a quart of white paint and this will be super helpful to just kind of use over and over again on the paint. I think it's definitely necessary to just make sure you have a good amount on hand to use for painting a baseline on the project. That is a little haul of everything I got at Michaels and Lowe's today during my errands. I do have some things on hand which I will go ahead and grab now and show you guys a little bit of what I have to show you guys a little sneak peek of everything I'm going to be using for my fun little creative project. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed some supplies that I already have on hand to kind of just show you what I have to work with. I wasn't kidding when I said I have a ton of paint brushes already. I have this jar full of the bigger size and the sponge brushes. And I also have this smaller container full of a bunch of tiny little paint brushes that are all different shapes and sizes. If you aren't familiar, I do love crafts, I do love art, and I do love to be creative and I don't get to do it very often, but I'm always well stocked for when I have a moment of inspiration and a little bit of passion to get started on a project. I also already have a handful of craft paint. I also have old paint samples just like I got at Lowe's today from, I'm not sure where I got them from, but I do have some old sample sizes which I'll show you in a second. But here are some craft paints already picked out. So I do have a handful of craft paint I can already use too. And I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot of art supplies. I have a whole container right here full of stuff that I can use too. With a ridiculous amount of sponge, sponge brushes. But here is a old paint sample I got from Lowe's a while back and I still I saved these containers because obviously I didn't use them all and you can just shake them up really good and probably still use them. So I do have quite a few colors of these old paint samples as well as the new ones but I'll show you a little bit of the colors in just a second. Okay let me go ahead and show you guys some of the colors that I got. Here's what I got today at Lowe's. These are the sample containers that I got in the different colors. So this is kind of the size. And that's one of the colors and I also got some taupe cream colors here are some old samples that I used to have well I still have but I got a while ago 
You can see some of these colors. And here is the quart container of white that I got today. That is day one of my creative project endeavor. And I just wanted to run errands and get the materials and supplies. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and clear one of the rooms in my house and set everything up so that I can get ready to paint. And tomorrow, I'm hoping tomorrow, I will take you guys along with me and show you guys a little bit of my painting process and how I am creating my designs for this creative project. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I am back. It is now Thursday and I'm ready to go ahead and get started painting for my fun little creative project I've decided to take on. I have everything set up behind me so I'll give you a little tour of my setup and what I have got going on. And then I did want to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about my creativity and my thoughts on this creative project before I dive in and get started. And so I'll give you guys a little tour of my setup and we'll chat for a little bit and then I'll get started. Okay, welcome to my home living room which I've now transformed into my fun little studio for the day. I have everything set up to take on my little painting project and I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what I have set up. Right now I have it set up for filming me painting so that's kind of what you see right here. I have studio lights set up because unfortunately it is a rainy day and I do not get very much light, natural light in here to film so you guys can see well and clearly. So I do have these studio lights set up to hopefully make sure that you guys can see everything that I'm doing when I do decide to film my painting. I have my tripod there set up for the camera so that's where I'll put my camera and start filming me painting. I've got my studio lights. I have three of my six canvases set up. I do have all of my paint out and my paint brushes. I will get everything unpacked and sorted and you'll kind of see all of that when I get started. But I just kind of wanted to show you what my setup is for now. I've got my drop cloth, my canvases, my paint, my brushes, everything all set up and ready to go. And I'll go ahead and get started. Always start with coffee. Mm. Before I get started on my fun little creative project that I'm painting canvases for, I wanted to sit down and talk a little quick little coffee chat about creativity. I won't talk too long. If you guys are interested in a more in-depth conversation about creativity and a little bit about my creative processes on how I take on fun projects, if you have any questions or if you're interested in something like that, definitely leave that in the comments below and I will definitely save that video for another time where we can talk and answer any questions you guys have and I can share all my little inspiration and little thoughts I have on everything in a separate video. But today I did kind of want to talk about this project specifically and some things that came up for me that I wanted to share and I thought this is the perfect opportunity to do that. The first thing I wanted to mention is a lot of people are scared to take on creative projects especially something like this where it's painting you see a blank canvas and you get a little nervous you're gonna mess it up it's not gonna come out perfect or you're afraid to make it ugly even though that's the thing that's the beauty in art is that nothing can come out ugly it's art it's your own and there's no right or wrong way to do it and so when people take on creative projects they're just a little nervous and they just don't like to draw outside of the lines, everything, they're perfectionist, everything has to be perfect. And I just wanna encourage you that if you're feeling like that in that way, and you're really discouraged to take on any creativity or any creative projects, or specifically painting, I just want to encourage you by sharing a couple little tips that help me. One is when it's a blank canvas like that, you can paint as much as you want on it. And if you're unhappy with it, you can always paint, like let the paint dry and get a primer or white paint and just paint all over it. and then you have a blank canvas all over again and you can just start as many times as you want. That is what I love about these canvases is they're very forgiving. You can always turn a mistake into something else and you can always paint over and start on a whole new project or completely. Another thing you can do instead of just painting over, you can also collage. You can also just take magazines, clippings, anything and just collage over it, even fabric, and you can turn it into something completely different. There's no wrong way to mess up this project because you can always transform it into something else. And art is beautiful because you can make it your own. There's nothing ugly about art. It's just your expression. And I love that 
when it comes to art and painting, anything you do is just, it, there's beauty in it. There's beauty in making the wrong brush stroke. You know, people get to see and connect with the different mistakes that you make and see your process and your journey. And that's what makes your artwork even more beautiful. And that's what I love about being creative is it's an, it's just fun to do something out of the lines. It's the one place you don't have to be a perfectionist with because it's the imperfections that make it so beautiful and so a part of you and your journey. And that is what people love and appreciate in your work. People love when things come out perfect and beautiful. That's true. But half the time, especially when it comes to art, nobody's going to know what was meant to be there and what wasn't. What was supposed to be this way or that way. Art is meant to be abstract, right? No one will even know what comes out right, what's wrong. They don't know what you were thinking to begin with. If it comes out completely different than what you were thinking, no one's going to know but you. And that is what is amazing about art and so I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you're afraid to get started in a creative project there's no mistakes and that's what I love about it is it's a part of just the journey and just having fun with it and just going wild on a creative project because it's just it's fun for you to do when you take on a project just to have fun with it you then can learn to let go of certain feelings that are you know like perfectionism or making mistakes or fear of failure you can then just enjoy what you're doing and it'll be like an escape for you or a calming activity that can just help find you joy in doing something. I think it is really important to find things that you can find joy in doing that are expressive, that is something to do with your hands and something that you can look at and be like, I made that, you know, you took something that was nothing, a blank canvas or something that was just string and you made it into a beautiful weaving or a piece of art and it was all just because you wanted to do something you love to do or to get a little creativity expressed out of you because we all have that inside of us we all have that need to be creative and expressive and we can't always do that in our work and in our everyday lives sometimes we are pressed to do and act a certain way and creativity gives us that outlet my final tip i kind of just wanted to share besides one is there's no mistakes you can always paint over or collage or turn it into something else and recycle it. Number two is to have fun with it. Just let it be a creative outlet for you. And number three is a little bit of just reiterating what I just said, which is to get outside of the lines. What I love is that a lot of us struggle with being perfectionist and so we do create these boundaries and limitations on us even in our creative work. You can transform this into an exercise for you where you can practice in a safe environment to slowly learn what it's like to get outside your comfort zone or to step outside a little bit of a boundary. You're just doing it in art that nobody's going to see. So you're creating that safe environment for you to learn what that feels like to do that without judgment. And I love that when you get comfortable and learn to start slowly step, stepping out of your comfort zone and breaking through those boundaries and limitations you place on yourself, even in your creative work. I think it's important and beautiful to see how once you start doing that, how that turns into getting the ball rolling and seeing how that changes you internally, changes you personally and your work and how that comes from inside of you and how it plays into other parts of your life as well. Hopefully all of this makes sense and hopefully this gives you kind of a little bit of a peek inside my mind into what I'm doing when I get into a creative project and what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling about it and hopefully it can help you realize maybe before you start a project to think about these things and let your thoughts process things before you get started to get yourself into a great place of encouragement and inspiration to take on a creative project and put yourself in the right mind, mind space so that you can have fun with it. Okay, those are my thoughts on my creative project. I just wanted to share with you guys so you guys can get a little idea of, about me personally and how I think about creativity in this project. For now, I'm ready to dive in and start getting painting. And so I'm going to go ahead and take you guys back over to my studio, set everything up, and we're going to get started on painting. And I'll show you my journey on starting up from a blank canvas to a fun little mural. Let's see what happens. Okay, before I go ahead and get started, I also wanted to show one quick little tip. If you take all of the colors that you have and you write out their names and you put a little swatch next to them on the paper, that way you can kind of see how the colors will turn out and you can decide. If you're trying to decide on a color and you want to know how each color looks on the paper and how maybe they'll go together, doing a little swatch with the name next to it can help you make sure you're making the right decisions in the moment. That way it makes it a little easier to determine which colors you want in which areas of the canvas.
canvases are finished i am all done painting i will set them all up in a line so you guys can get a little peek at what the finished product looks like And there you have it. Here is the end result of my painting. Here's all the little pieces put together. They're all meant to become a mural as one. And here they are all finished. Before I end out this vlog, I thought I'd share a little bit about my intention of what I was going for and where I think I'm going to take these paintings next. I know I didn't really get to share before, or I haven't mentioned yet, what look I was going for and the reason behind that. I just wanted to have fun and paint and just be free with it, and so that is what I did. Kind of just see where I wanted to take it in the moment and to not put that pressure of expectation of what it should look like on myself. I wasn't going for a specific look, I just wanted to paint and have fun and just see where it went in the moment, and so this is what the end result looks like. I did also want to share where I'm thinking about putting these paintings. This is my living room currently right now. Yes, I still don't have any furniture in here, which is also why it's a little echoey. But I am thinking about taking this wall right here. This is my living room wall. And I'm going to paint that wall, I'm thinking, and then hang these up spaced out along this wall. Right now the wall is painted gray and I have really hard dark, <laughs> I have hard, I have dark hardwood floors and therefore because of the gray and the dark floors it definitely changes the colors in the paintings. It gives it more of a cool tone look and I'm really looking for something more warm and uplifting and light and happy and I think painting that wall a warm tone cream white will then bring out the warmness in this paintings, this mural painting I have and that'll give the look that I'm really going for. So like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Girl to see the final results, see them hung on the wall, and beautifully just become a part of my home. I really hope you guys enjoyed being able to see me do something creative for once and follow along on my journey to watch me paint my canvases. If you guys would like to see more videos like this where I get creative or talk about creativity, please make sure to let me know in the comments below. And I will show you guys the end result of my paintings hung on the wall and where I choose to put them over on my Instagram, my personal Instagram. I will leave a link in the description below. It is at Mint Sweater Girl. That is where I will be sharing the final reveal on my creative project and the canvases I painted all together as one mural hung on the wall. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and to get to see me do something creative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.